do like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update. In this video, I'll show you how to draw side elevation of a building in AutoCAD. So let's get started. So in my previous video, I have created east side elevation. Now in this video, I'll show you west side elevation. Okay. So we have already discussed about elevation. Okay. So elevation is one side outward view of a building and it is drawn in vertical manner with reference to the plan. Now when a building is seen by standing in front of it, then what we see is known as front elevation. Okay. Now in case it is seen by standing from a side, then this is called side elevation. Hope you understand. So here I'll create west side elevation. Okay. So I've already prepared all these plans. So this is the ground floor plan. This is front elevation. This is multi-story front elevation. This is multi-story sectional elevation. This is multi-story staircase sectional elevation. This is multi-story rear elevation. And here this is multi-story side elevation. So this is the east side elevation. Okay. So the, here this is this is the plan. Okay. This is east side elevation. Okay. See this is north, south, west, east. Okay. So this is the east side. Okay. So I have created this multi-story east side elevation. So now I will create this side elevation means west side elevation. Okay. So let's get started. So first of all I need to copy this plan. Okay. So select copy. Now I'll copy to this side, right? So now I'll delete all unnecessary extra things, okay? This is the section line. We don't require this. So delete this. Okay. So now I'll create this side elevation, west side elevation. So I need to rotate this. Select, rotate, R, O, enter. Now I'll rotate. So this is done. Now I'll create this side elevation. So I'll move this to here. Okay. Now I'll create west side elevation. Okay. So first I'll use line command. Okay. So I'll enter. Now specify first point here. Make auto on. And specify second point here. Now consider this line as ground level. Okay. Now here I am checking ground level to plinth level height is 2 feet and 6 inch. Okay. So give offset. Give offset distance 2 feet and 6 inch. Now select ground level line and click in upper direction. Okay. So this is ground level and this is plinth level. Okay. So ground level to plinth level height is 2 feet and 6 inch. Okay. Now Come back to plan. Take Excel here. Excel means construction line. Okay. Excel enter. Now we need vertical line. So V enter. Now click here on outer wall and click on this side outer wall. Okay. All right. So now I'll create plinth projection that is 6 inch. Okay. So give offset, give offset distance 6 inch. Now select this line, click to this side, select this line, click to this side, right? Select, click, select, click. Okay. Now trim all the extra lines. TR, enter. Now select and trim all the extra lines. Trim here, trim here. Also trim all these lines. Now trim this line and this line, right? So this is plinth level and this is ground level, okay? So I'll copy this text. If you want to create new text, you can, okay? You can create new text. This is ground level GL, okay? So this is plinth level, this is ground level. This is plinth level and this is ground level. Okay. 
So now I will create Rupe's law. Okay, this is Plane's projection. Go to dimension, linear. Here to here, this is 6 inch Plane's projection. Okay, same. On this side, this is Plane's projection, 6 inch. Okay. Now I will create Rupe's law. Okay, so for Rupe's law, I will take building height 10 feet and 6 inch. So give offset. Give offset distance 10 feet and 6 inch. 10 feet and 6 inch. So 10 feet and 6 inches building height from plinth level. Okay. 10 feet and 6 inch. Enter. Now select plinth level and click on upward direction. So this is roof slab. Now roof slab thickness is 4 inch. So again give offset. Give offset distance 4 inch. Select this line and click on upper direction. Right. So this is go to linear. This is 4 inch roof slab thickness. And here to here this is 10 feet and 6 inch building height. Okay. Alright. So now I will create roof slab projection. That is 6 inch. So give offset. Give offset distance 6 inch. Select this line and click. Select this line and click. Now, trim all the extra lines. Trim this line also. Trim this line. Here, one more thing I want to say. If you don't want to show the roof slab projection, then you can omit this step. Okay? Because building can also be constructed without showing the roof slab projection. Okay? You can also construct a building without showing the roof slab projection. Okay. If you don't want to show the roof slab projection, then you can omit this step. Okay. Now trim, select this line, trim here. Okay. So this is roof slab and this is building height 10 feet and 6 inch okay now i'll create lintel slab that is 7 feet from plinth level okay from plinth level 7 feet so give offset give offset distance 7 feet enter now select plinth level click on upper direction okay now plinth level thickness is sorry lintel level thickness is 3 inch so again offset give offset distance 3 inch Select this line and click on upper direction. Right. So this is the lintel slab. That is 7 feet from plane level. Now come to the plan. Now I will create chaza, XL, V. Now I will take projection from this chaza. Click on this side chaza. And mark here. Click on this side chaza. Click here. Okay. Now. I will extend this lintel slab towards this side charger projection, projection and this side charger projection. EX enter. Select this line and select this line. Enter. Extend this side and extend this side. Now trim all the extra lines. Select these two lines. Now trim here. Again trim here. So this is lintel slab with lintel sub thickness 3 inch okay now i'll create this window and this jaza this ventilator this ventilator okay this window and this jaza and this ventilator okay so first i'll create this staircase room okay so take excel v for vertical Okay, I'll create this staircase room. Click here and extend. We need to extend this line. Okay, now trim this length. Okay, this is the staircase room. Okay, all right, now. Again, trim here. Okay. This is the staircase room. So, roof will not be here. Okay.
So now take construction line Excel enter V for vertical. Now click on this window. Now again click on this side window. Uh, now click on this ventilator. Again click on this ventilator. Now click on this ventilator. Now click on charger also. Click on this side charger and click on this side charger. Okay. Now see I am showing you very slowly here so that it will be easy to understand. Okay. So this is W. So this is W also. Check the size. This is 5 feet length and 4 feet 6 inch height. Okay. So take a rectangle R E C enter. Now specify first point here. Right click. Go to dimensions. Now specify the length 5 feet. Enter. Now specify the height 4 feet and 6 inch. Enter. Now this is the window. Okay. Now select this line and select this line. Delete all these two lines. Now give offset. Give offset distance 3 inch. Select this line and click in. Click on up. inner side. Okay. Now draw a line on midpoint. Now give offset of 1 inch to each side. 1 inch. Select this line. Click to this side. Select this line. Click to this side. Now delete the middle line. So this is the window created. Okay. Now I will create the charger. So give offset of 1 feet. 1 feet. Select this line and click. Now take a rectangle. REC. Enter. Now specify first point here and this point and second point here. Okay. Now delete these two lines. Also delete this line. Now trim this line. Okay. So this is the window and charge are created. And this window is same as this is also w, w. This window is same as this window. So I'll copy this window. So select copy. And I'll take base point here on this point. Okay. And click here. Okay. See? This is the window. Delete. And this is the charger projection line. See? This is the charger projection line. Right? Now, I'll create ventilator. Okay? Ventilator size. This is the ventilator. 2 feet length into 1 feet height. Okay? So take rectangle R E C enter. Now specify first point here. Right click go to dimension. 2 feet length enter. And specify height 1 feet enter. This is the ventilator. Now give offset. Delete these two lines. Give offset. Give offset distance 2 inch. Select this line and click. Okay. So this is the ventilator. Now I will copy this ventilator. Select. Copy. Copy. This is the base point. Now click here and click here. Here. Now move this to this point. Okay. So this is done. These are the ventilators. Right. So delete all the extra lines. Now I'll trim lintel slab. Select this line, select this line, and trim. Okay. Hope you understand. This is window with charger. This is ventilator. This is ventilator. 
this is also window with charger and this is the ventilator and this is charger this is here this is the charger and this side window this is the charger okay and this is the staircase room okay so now this is the ground floor elevation okay next i'll create other floors so select copy now specify base point here and click here first floor again click here this is the second floor click here this is the third floor and click here this is the fourth floor okay so ground floor first floor second floor third floor fourth floor okay ground floor second floor sorry ground floor first floor second floor third floor and fourth floor okay all right so now i'll create staircase headroom okay so give offset give offset distance 8 feet select this line click here again select this line and click now i'll join these two lines j enter select this line select this line and join okay now i'll extend this line towards this ex enter select this line and extend this line okay also extend this line okay now i'll create roof slab thickness that is 4 inch give offset give offset distance 4 inch select this line click here now roof slab projection is 6 inch so give offset again give offset distance 6 inch select this line click to this side select this line click to this side okay now i'll fill it i'll fill it this if you want to extend and trim you can do if you want to fill it you can use fill it command also okay now i'll trim extra lines so this is the staircase headroom with complete staircase room okay now i'll create parapet pole here Here we can see the power put pole. So give offset, give offset distance two feet and six inch. Now select this line and click. Again offset. Give offset distance three inch. Select this line, click. Again select this line, click. Now extend these two lines toward towards this line. Extend. Okay. now trim all the extra lines trim here sorry did it this line right now i'll fill it this line this line with this line and fill it this line with this line so this is the parapet pole okay now I'll hatch this mm, box hatch okay scale is 30 at pick point click inside enter again enter This is parapet pole. Now I'll hatch staircase room. Let's enter. Now change the pattern. Uh, I select uh, suppose this be a stone. Okay. Make this scale sixty. At pick point, click inside. Enter again. Press enter. Now. Uh, I change the scale here. I make the scale suppose um, 
50 okay now it's okay so this is the west side elevation okay excel v now see this is wall external wall this is window just check all the features this is chaza okay this is the chaza this is ventilator this is ventilator this is window this is window this is chaza and this is this side chaza this is staircase room okay this is this side external wall and this is the charge of projection and here this is the charge of projection till here okay this is ground floor first floor second floor third floor fourth floor this is carpet wall and this is staircase headroom with staircase room right so this is the multi story west side elevation okay so in my previous video i have created multi story east side elevation so this is the multi story west side elevation okay so if you understand how to create this is multi story east side elevation and this is multi story west side elevation this is east side and this is west side okay so i have created this video on request of one of my viewer so hope you understand now if you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel thank you for watching